Hi, this is a quick tutorial to use Ubrinks, a new tool to create website or application with AI. Upon creating a project, you will be directed to the Ubrinks dashboard. On the left sidebar, you can view the code generated by the AI, tailored to your prompts. This is the box where you enter your prompt input. You can build pretty much anything, whether it's a website or an app. You can check out some cool extra features to make your prompts even better. Like uploading images, requiring AI to create something similar to your images. Choosing color palettes and generating variations based on your preferences. Or picking out different fonts. On the right side, you'll see the area where you can check out a live preview of the output. There are some options like preview, responsive, reload. When you satisfy with the results, just hit export to send your data over to WordPress or Webflow. I'll demonstrate in the next parts. Now, you need a solid prompt to use with Ubrinks. To do that, I'll ask ChatGPT for help. You can also use Grok, DeepSeek, or any other AI tool for this step. For example, I want to create a basic homepage for a skincare-related website. It will include sections like a header, hero, features, and some basic sections. The outcome relies on your objective, the more details you provide, the better the result will be. Next up, you gotta figure out the styles for your website, like what fonts you'll use and what colors you want. For a visual tutorial, I prepared a reference website. You can press F12 or right-click and choose Inspect to check which fonts are being used. For headings, the font is Urbanist. And you can check the other styles or use extension to quickly get essential style. When using Ubrinks, we will support you to get exactly styles of any website. Just embed the source website link into prompt box. Immediately, there are two options corresponding to that link. Click on get style to refer all the style of source website. Ubrinks quickly analyzes and adapts to colors, typography, and various other design elements. This feature is truly exceptional for users who prefer a no-code approach. You can now use this style as a reference and tailor it to suit your own preferences. Back to ChatGPT, I'll ask it create prompt following this style. You should define which color code is the primary or secondary. For example, I'll get the color of the button as primary. You know, the more detailed the prompt, the better the outcome. I'll keep the fonts and heading size as original. In buttons, let's adjust a little bit about radius. Finally, let's check out how ChatGPT works. It sounds like a solid idea. Now, I have a well-prepared prompt to generate my website. Let's supply this idea for you, Brinks. After you click the Run button, it may take a few minutes for the AI to complete its operation. The front-end result promptly appears in the right panel. In this beta version, the image may not align well with the main topic. But don't worry, we can adjust it easily in the back end then. I'll check thoroughly this result. 
The result is even better than I expected. I guarantee it would take you days to build this manually from scratch. Now, I'll publish it and preview the website. As previously stated, the image demonstration may not align with the primary topic. The layout and everything else looks really great. I'm really happy with this result. At this point, I'll transfer the home page to Page Builder by clicking on Export. Here is the exporting control panel. For this demo, I'll pick Elementor as output. There are some important setup steps noticed here. Don't forget to activate this powerful feature. Now, click Export to start the cloning process. In a few moments, your data will be copied to the clipboard. After that, switch to Elementor and paste it directly into the canvas. Right-click and choose Paste from another site. Confirm by pressing Ctrl and V. And there you have it. The content appears instantly. Everything is made up of native Elementor widgets. This is dynamic card box. You can easily replace any element. We get the button with the same style, compared with my reference website. How do you think about this output? You can share your idea with a customer in just a few minutes. This is dynamic list widget, a way to enhance your layout structure. You can easily customize with full Elementor controls. Let's check the responsiveness. The layout on the tablet is quite impressive. On mobile, we might need to make a few customizations. But generally, everything looks great. And here's how it looks in bricks. We have the same result with native bricks elements. All you need to do is change contents, images and use it. If you're a Webflow user, you can follow the same steps. Back to you brings, how can we create a new page with same prompt? Simply click the plus button and select duplicate current page. It's that easy. Now, I will create a new page for about us. Similarly, wait a moment to receive the results. I hope this method helps speed up your workflow. With AI-powered tools like Ubrainx, you can save countless hours of manual work. Check it out and let us know your feedback.